Information without application takes me to the place of procrastination. Have you ever felt information overload? Hi, my name is Latasha Martin and I help people grow their business without compromising their faith, family, fitness, or fun. Today, I want to talk to you about something that has happened to me over the last 28 days, and it is information overload. I knew it was bad when I found myself listening to Clubhouse on my phone, monitoring Facebook on one computer, and then calling myself working on my main machine. I really had to take some time and say to myself, Latasha, what are you doing with all this information? And so what I made a decision was, is that there was a new way that I needed to approach information overload so that I could be more productive to hit the key business priorities for me right now, as well as planning for the new calendar year. I start with a series of questions. The first question that I ask myself is, do I need this information that I'm looking at or receiving right now? Or is it something that I could use for a later time? If it's something that I can use for a later time, I immediately store it away, put it in an electronic file, and I just pack it away and I don't touch it again. If it is something that I can use right now, then the next question that I ask myself is, what can I do right now within the next five minutes to immediately apply some part of this information that I have? Even if that application means putting that information into a plan for tomorrow's to-do list or one of my other strategic plans that I have on an objective for my business. The next question I ask myself is, how can it help me with my current goals? And not just figuratively, I mean quantifiably, how could this new information either impact my efficiency or effectiveness to hit one of the key business priorities that I have? And if I can't make that connection, then I go back to question number one and say, do I really need this information right now? And then this is the final thing that I'm saying I'm doing with information. If this information that I received is something that I can't even tell when it would connect to my business, then what I will actually do, hold on, are you ready for it? I will delete it or get rid of it. And this is my theory. If I really need this information again, it will show up again. But right now I need to release it because I already have tons and tons of notes of other information that I haven't applied to my business or my life. So this is my new approach on how I'm handling information overload. And I wanna tell you that I've only been doing this for a couple of days and it has stretched me. It has had to shift a behavior that I've been doing for so long when I was receiving information. And since applying this new technique, it has forced me to do immediate action with new information and I will not allow myself to take in additional information until I have made a decision about all the information that I've already gathered for that time. So I hope that this information helps you and I hope that this strategy and approach can help you navigate through your workload and prevents you from having information overload. Now, as always, I want to leave you with a little video that will hopefully put a smile on your face and I'll see you again tomorrow. Let me see you reach your hand up, pull down a blessing, dust yourself off like you learned your lesson. Turn around, throw it up, do you catch it? And what like you heard the message, ain't no stress or not.